Well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, this is my Better Late Than Never official post fight review for Michaela Mayer versus Natasha Jonas. And the result of the fight is a controversial Natasha Jonas split decision victory as she retains the IBF welterweight title. Now, it's a very interesting fight because Michaela Mayer, she's only two fights removed from her last fight at 135. You know, she 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 moved up to 140 briefly. Uh, what was it? 141 or 140 briefly. And now she's fighting at the full-fledged well foot limit against Natasha Jonas. So, obviously, going into the fight, I think the adjustment and the acclimation to the weight was going to be a factor. And I feel like early in the fight it was because you saw Michaela Mayer's legs were a bit heavy and she was a bit off balance early in the fight. But she settled in very nicely. And I think, you know, I saw the reason I make the reason I, I even tuned in to watch this fight after it happened was because so many people told me that this fight was a robbery. Now, I thought Michaela Mayer won. Um, I thought she won a competitive, you know, like six to four type of fight, a clear but close six to four type of fight. But yeah, I don't think it's a robbery because this is this was a fight where I think Natasha Jonas was doing a lot of things at a high level in there. Like one thing about it is Michaela Mayer just kept coming forward like she was Romain Villa or Antonio Margarito. I mean, her head was right on the center line. It, it was there to be hit and, she, and, and, and she didn't come to box in this fight. She came right to fight. And so it gave Natasha Jonas plenty of opportunity to counter punch right in between the high guard of Michaela Mayer, and she did. She, that, that that left hand was there the whole fight, and um, she uh, N Natasha Jonas, I thought did a great job of making Michaela Mayer as a taller fighter have to reach and overcommit many times in the fight, and she did a good job of digging to the body as well. So she did. She was doing her fair share of of work to make this a very high level fight, but I thought, despite despite Michaela Mayer. In her leaky defense, I thought that she looked for the fight. I thought that, you know, as the fight wore on, because I think I'm going to say, you know, I thought Natasha Jonas won two of the first three rounds. By round four, I thought Michaela Mayer made some really good adjustments to, to um, you know, make make Jonas have to work a little harder to hit her. And as the fight wore on, you saw there was a there was an, an increase in exchanges between the two fighters. And I, and I, and I thought that... When you look at the punches that Jonas will land in the exchanges and the punches that Mayer will land in the exchanges, I thought Mayer did a better job of um, winning those exchanges and moving her back and and really just um, I thought I just thought overall her punches had a bigger effect on Jonas than than the other you know than, than the latter right. So I thought she won. I think she she should be the welterweight champion right now, not Natasha Jonas, but it was a great fight, a fight that was so good, so high level. I think it warrants a rematch. I think it warrants, you know, one of them to, uh, you know, separate themselves, whether whether it be N N Natasha Jonas winning more convincingly this time or Michaela Mayer beating the brakes off her in a rematch and forcing a potential trilogy. And I think this is good for women's boxing, right? And you got to, I, I, I kind of do feel for Michaela Mayer because, you know, she had a very close fight with Alicia Bumgarner that I thought, she had a case to win, and she's going to feel that she should have won the fight. This fight, I thought she won. I, I didn't think there was no case. I thought she won this fight, clearly, and they didn't give it to her. But look, it's par for the course when it comes to fighters and uh, about the fighters on the road in Liverpool. I mean, Michaela Mayer should have called my boy John Ryder up and asked him about how it went for him when he went to Liverpool against the likes of Cattle Smith and Rocky Fielding and how there really isn't fair judging when it comes to opposing fighters in Liverpool. And, you know, when you factor in that Natasha Jonas is the Olympian, she signed to Ben Shalom and Boxer, they're fighting in her hometown. Um, also, too, you know, British boxing, and I, I think there's a preference in British boxing more so for clean and effective punching uh, as far as like, you know, landing one nice clean shot as opposed to, you know, three or four coming forward. They like when fighters move around and counter and those kind of things that's always the favorable style in the uk 
And the, the evidence of that is like, look at John Ryder when he went there. I thought John Ryder outworked Camel Smith, right? They didn't see it that way. They gave it to they gave it to Camel Smith. So it's it's the same thing. So Mayer has a, a second loss on her record. And um, it's interesting for her because right now when, when you look at the welterweight picture and the women's boxing, you know Jonas has that that IBF strap at the moment at this moment in time. And the rest of the, the, the girls that Michaela Mary could fight are all Brits, you know, like like Sandy Ryan, Lauren Price. And I know, I know Michaela Mary has to have some sort of PTSD of fighting in the UK because whether she's fighting in the UK against an American or fighting in the UK against a Brit, she's just not getting those d- decisions. And I just, it's unfortunate because I, I think she's, I think she's arguably, you know, she's top five pound for pound women's boxer to me. Um, one of the only women's boxers we're talking about, if we're, if we're honest, in terms of skills and talent. Right, but um, the only American that I think she could probably fight is maybe like Jessica McCaskill, which I think would be a good fight. McCaskill has has been undisputed champion before. She's a bit long in the tooth now. She's she's thirty nine years old, the same way Natasha Jonas is thirty nine years old. So um, it is what it is. You know, I think in a fair and just world there should be a rematch because. Michaela Mayer, I mean, she was doing some great things, the high level things, uh, the, the short left hook she was landing, the the body work, the inside fighting, um, the the way she was setting things up. I mean, she she closed the fight really strong, and generally speaking, if you're in a close fight, you always want to close the fight strong. I I thought she did enough to to win the fight, but obviously, um, the judges saw otherwise, and, and and she loses another you know close controversial fight. So she really could be an undefeated fighter. She really could be. You know, with wins over Bumgarner and Natasha Jonas, she really could be looked at as someone who maybe is the pound for pound, you know, top three or maybe the best. I mean, not the best because Cluster Shield is still the best, but I'm saying she could be viewed a lot higher than she actually is. And it's just, it's unfortunate. You know, you, you, you would never think that in women's boxing where there's not as much money that there'd be politics, but now there's more money in women's boxing. So as the money follows, so does the politics. And, and, and Michaela Mayer is, is unfortunately on the wrong side of those politics. So, um, Make it what you will. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not crying robbery. I just thought Michaela Mayer did enough to win. Shout out to Natasha Jonas. She fought a great fight. She used her her, her amateur pedigree as a as a as a as a fellow Olympian to make Michaela Mayer reach and counter punch her and, and 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 really fight an intelligent fight. So, you know, I'm not angry that she got the decision. I th- I just thought Michaela Mayer should have won the fight. But those are my thoughts on the fight. But how did you guys see it? Does anybody out there think that? Uh, Natasha Jonas won. Did you thought Michaela Mayer won? What did, what did you score? You know, leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just kidding, from Daniel. So until next time, take care. Thank you for watching another video on The Untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.